Your boy, um, Biscuits from Heaven, back with another video. Uh, I've got an NBA stream pulled up, uh, and it's taking all of the resources from my laptop and OBS. I don't know why I did this. Uh, I was very stupid. But, I'm going to get quick to the point. Zatsby's, they have a chicken sandwich. I didn't know that until right now. It said it was new on the, uh, the little menu thing they have outside. I don't know if it actually was or not. I think it would be very bad marketing and advertising to to release a chicken sandwich a year and a half after they were hot. Um, maybe even two years after they were hot. Uh, I think that's a little bit dumb and a little bit uh, late. But, you know, Walmart's a chicken sandwich. Um, fucking, like, Kroger's, I think, has a chicken sandwich. I mean, everybody's a chicken sandwich. Your fucking mom's a chicken sandwich. Uh, everyone's a chicken sandwich. So I, it made sense for it to eventually come to... What is in this region, the, um, pretty much the preeminent exclusively fast food place. Uh, I consider like Popeye's and churches and, and, uh, Bojangles kind of like a different ilk where they kind of are like partially fast, but also kind of like take home food. Um, Bazatsby's, uh, Fusakli's, Guthrie's, Raising Cane's. Uh, I guess kind of Jack in the Box tend to skew to more of a different, exclusively fast food, uh, urge. And, you know, with no other further to do, you know, it's, it's very big. If you can see it from here. Oh, fuck. I almost dropped it. Holy shit. Uh, very big. Um, women generally tell me I have pretty large hands. Um, and this is about a palm size, so... Not like like Hawaii large, like larger than the average. Motherfuckers ain't getting like Hawaii size hands. Uh, bitches ain't getting that shit on them uh, very often. So their their frame of reference may be, I don't know, slightly skewed. I would say I have like above average size hands. It's about probably about like palm. I'm not gonna put my fucking this thing on my hand because there's a fucking sauce coming off of it. But like it's about like the size of my palm, give or take, a little bit smaller. Uh, it's got this is spicy. They got a spicy sauce. Uh, they have a couple pickles in the bun. Uh, on a lower bun. I don't think they have any pickles up top. And they have a big piece of chicken. Uh, not quite as fucking monstrous as the fucking uh, chicken from the uh, Popeye sandwich. Like a fucking entire, like, goddamn chicken uh, tit. Like, like uh, It's like the size of a human tit, but it's like a chicken tit. It's like a fucking, like a, the chest of a chicken. They just cut that bitch off and just put it on the fucking rat. <laughs> just gave it to us like fucking, like, dogs. But we'll taste it and see how it goes. So two things that I think intrinsically make this worse than a Popeye sandwich. And I think it is. I mean, I think it's just not as engaging on a couple of different levels, but it's just, in my opinion, just not as good, uh, period. But there's a few things I think that, that's a difference. It's not just overall worse. The chicken is definitely harder um, to bite into and just period. Just a harder piece of meat than um, the Popeye's version. And some might contend, oh, it's a little bit more crunch or yada yada, you know, makes it. Some people may think that it's too stringy on the Popeyes one. I don't know. But it's definitely a harder meat than that one. Um, pause. So that might come out of your preference. Maybe, maybe you like fucking steel meat. Maybe you like fucking soft ass meat. I would say this isn't like un uneatable, uh, non edible, inedible. 
Um, but it's a little bit harder than I'd like for a chicken sandwich to be, especially after some of the ones I've had that are, you know, actually pretty good, comparable to uh, Popeye's. Um, and, you know, with just, I mean, their chicken, uh, like nibblers, for example, uh, or the kick and chicken sandwich, they're like more strips, but they're way more easy to bite into than this one. So I don't know why they pick, like, they pick like a real, like a breast, like a real breast, um, for this. And it kind of just, you know, it, it's too hard for me, uh, pause. So I think I think that most people get out of, out of that chicken sandwich from Popeye's is a spicy mayo. And I don't think it's pure spicy mayo, I think they have some other shit in there, but for the most part, it's spicy mayo, that's the base of it. What this appears to be, is just that sauce that kind of has a, like, I think it might just be purely that sauce, and honest to God. It might be imbued with something else. I'm not sure, but it appears to me just be that sauce. I may be wrong about that, but that's what it appears to be. And in that, there's just, like, not much in the way of flavoring to it. It's just, like, I mean, that sauce is solid, but it's not, like, top-of-the-line sauce in and of itself. So having a spicy variant of that doesn't really stand out as much as I think what Popeye sauce is kind of like a base level spicy mayo with some of their own um, kind of whatever their sauce is kind of mixed in with that. And it, it works. It adds a lot of flavor to it. In and of itself, you could put that mayo on other shit. I don't even like mayo. I hate fucking mayo. It's the whitest damn condiment of all the time. It fucking sucks. It's unhealthy. For, it's probably the unhealthiest condiment most people eat. Um, but it's good. I mean, and when and some some motherfuckers' hands is good, and in those motherfuckers' hands is flawless. You could put that shit on just about anything else, and it would still be pretty fucking good. Um, in this instance, this sauce is, is not very good. The brioche bun, um, fucking. I mean, it. I didn't even mentioned that, but the brioche bun on the fucking Popeye sandwich is like. I don't think it's been like, even touched by any other place that's done a chicken sandwich. Their brioche bun, I don't think it's used on any other sandwich they have. I think it's exclusively for that sandwich. I may be wrong about that. But their bread is like fucking... This is just like kind of floppy. And that could be a preparation thing. I'm not sure. But like, this is like standard run the meal like bread. It doesn't even touch the brioche bun on the Popeye chicken sandwich. Um... I would say the Popeye chicken sandwich, the spicy version, is probably about a, um, if I had to guess, you know, really put a number to it, probably about like a nine, uh, depending on what you get. I mean, just, I've had bad ones that were kind of like closer to an eight and a half or an eight, but I've had, like, the first one I've had, the second one I had, um, was probably closer to like a ten than an eight, so I would say probably about a nine, maybe sometimes around nine and a half on, on average. This... This is close to maybe a normal one, which uses mayo, but not like any kind of spicy or flavor into it. Just like raw mayo. Um, I would probably give that by seven ish, and this is probably close to that, maybe a six and a half, really. Uh, it just you know most of the things that it uh, all of it be compared to the Papa Chicken Sandwich. It's a gold standard of that that market. So in knowing that they have pretty much failed in the, the major category, not failed, but they've come very short, noticeably short in all the major categories that made that so special. That's it for me. Uh, if you want more food reviews, uh, first you can donate so I can afford more food like this. Uh, I need to go fucking work out after eating some shit like this. Um, and just let me know. Uh, I can try. I'll, I'll ask you like burger cans and shit like that or fucking McDonald's. I'm not eating fucking actual fucking colon cancer, but some shit that's like halfway decent, like, you know, fucking uh, Zaspies, Fusakli's, Wendy's, um, that tea or Chick Fil A, you know, ask me for shit that I'll try. But like, don't fucking ask me to McDonald's. I'm not fucking doing that shit. Unless for Pokemon, which I did do that. <laughs>